I wanted to start this video off going over how the power system works in Volt 88. When you first arrive, there's a generator here which gives 150 power. This should be more than enough for anything you put inside the vault. If you need more power, you can make your own generator room. For the sake of the video, this is more than enough. I'm going to explain to you how the power system works. So head to power. You want to head to connectors and switches. In this category, you should find what's called a vault power conduit. When you place this on the wall, and then in this example, we put a light bulb, as long this emits a radius of power, and as long as whatever you want to be powered is in that radius, it will work. So if a TV is in the area, and you have one of these on the wall, it will be powered on. If a light is in the area, it will glow. Um, the only exception to this would be if the thing requires direct connection, you can just go up to it, click triangle, and then attach a wire that way. This works because this wall, the one we have the conduit on, is connected to that generator through each of the building blocks. If you take this wall, or if you take this wall, for example, and put it here, we'll put this light. It doesn't work because this wall is not connected to the rest of the vault. If we put it back in place, we can't put it in place because of the roof. If we put it back in place now, it should work. Yeah, there you go. All right, with that out of the way, let's teach you how to light the roof. Come outside, and the first thing you need to do is find this wooden prefab floor and roof. What you wanna do is line it up with the second wall on the outside right here, if you followed my build guide. Line it up as best you can. It does not have to be perfect. For the sake of the video, that's, that's perfect, that's fine. And then build a staircase up. Just to make it easier, I would recommend having it loop around like that. There you go. Don't worry about how it looks. We're gonna get rid of all of this at the very end. So just do the same thing where you line up, it's connecting to the staircase, do the same thing where you line it up this time, you can I'll come down here and do it because it will be easier. That's fine. That's good enough for what we're doing. Make your way back to the roof. No, stupid staircase. Okay, that's good enough. And you want to do that for a third time. You can get rid of the staircase now, we don't need them anymore. Do that for a third time. This one is probably the most important one. So get it as symmetrical as you can to the, um, the vault itself. Now what you want to do is go to the floor cab category. You want to find the small floor. What you want to do is 
line it up in this corner. There's four different corners. Line it up on the one that's closest to the to the atrium itself. God damn it. Good. And what you want to do is build this floor all the way across. Like so. Next thing you want to do is find a staircase. Hopefully connect it. No, not like that. Like that. That's good enough. We're gonna do the same thing this time on the roof. So depending on how well you lined it up, it should go down directly in the middle. In this case, it's a little bit to the right. No big deal, doesn't make a difference. If anything, it's just for the aesthetic. But once the vault is completely finished, you're never gonna see the outside of it anyway. It does not make a difference. gonna want to do the same thing on this side. So build a staircase down. This one is really close to the um Atrium, it should not make that big of a difference. There we go. go. Alright, the next part of this build is personal preference. We're gonna need some classic generators, so... The 150 generator does not work for the lights up here. Uh, you can do this two different ways. If, depending on how high you build this settlement, you might hear the sound the generator makes in some of the rooms. If that is a concern to you, what we're gonna do is build it on top of that structure. If that's not a big deal, you can save the time, save the resources, and just put two generators up on the roof here. For the sake of the video, we're going to do it the long way. So, I would actually recommend making a quick save because if you fall from this height, you will, you will die and lose all of the progress you've made. So just build a bridge over here. And what we're going to do is pop two generators right here on the side. You need two generators, I've tested it, one is not enough. For the sake of the, I would take the time to line it up. Just cause, then we're gonna build another one. Wherever it would fit. So right there, that's fine. Connect the two, and what we're gonna do now is, we're gonna connect we're gonna bring those two generators over to the roof using a small pylon. You should only need one. So just pick the generator of your choice, connect it, and stretch it as far as it can go. So in this case, it's this block. And we're just gonna destroy these ones. And then we're gonna destroy these ones. Make sure you can reach it. Now what we're gonna do is build a bunch of large pylons. So we could use, probably do one every, every two blocks should be enough. Depending on how tight of resources you are, I would maybe only do three or four large pylons up here. Just, I actually don't know how many you should have. Uh, four, uh, we have five. Should be more than enough. Now connect it to any one of these, and you want to wire up the rest of them. Make 
Make sure they're orange, so they're emitting power. Now we can disable that walkway. And if you want, you can destroy every second floor, so you just have the ones that have the pylons on them. It's purely up to you. And as you guessed it, we're gonna do the same thing on both of the sides. So again, one pylon every every like three blocks, I guess. And one. Destroy all the floors that have, oops, destroy all the floors that have nothing on them. Or you can just keep it as is, does not make a difference. Yeah, oh my god. Just make your way back to the roof. The last thing we need to do, if you get a running start, you should be able to jump up there. I guess not, no big deal. Make sure to connect each of these pylons and then connect it to one of the ones that have power. Now these ones are all on. I guess we're gonna have to build another staircase up here. This time we can get rid of these floors that we no longer need. pylons again all the way over here every third block okay. now we can destroy the packs we don't need to connect one of the pylons to one of the sources up here. Oh, I'm gonna need staircases again. I guess my tip would be don't destroy the, like the bridges and the staircase till everything is set up. Just makes navigation a little bit easier. Connect it to whichever one you can, like so, and connect it. All right. All right, that's the first part of this dump. You should never build up here. I have never built up here. Usually you build out that way and on the other side so these should not get in the way of anything you never see these after the vault is complete so um the design itself shouldn't bother you and seeing that the generators are over there you shouldn't hear anything all right now we have to get into lighting the vault itself head inside and first thing you want to do is Find one of these staircases and put it in the middle. Line it up as best you can. I actually did that perfect the first time. And then just to make building easier, fill the whole room in with shack floors. And if they can't fit, use the small ones. Just makes navigation a lot easier. I'm gonna go all in just so the 
I don't fall and it wastes time. If you take your time, you don't have to use nearly as many resources. And what we're gonna do is head to the lights category. For the, the, for the very top, you need to find these lights. The ones that go all the way across. There's two sections to the roof of the atrium. There's the flat part and the part where they connect. The flat part, I found it's best to put two of these lights and then where it connects, put another one. And the glitch here is, oh, if you move it up, you can place it inside the roof, but it, it still lights it up. So you do not have to see the lights. It might be easier to do an even higher floor so you don't have to move anything. So just come up here and we don't get rid of this because we need to do more along the sides, but We're actually going to do it on this side. Alright, there you go. Oh. Head back to the lights category. It's very easy. Line this one up in the middle there. Just do that all the way across. If you're using mods or have an abundance of resources, in all honesty, I would just spam as many lights up here as possible just to have the absolute brightest vault. Of course, if you're tight on resources, my pattern of two, one, two should be more than enough. Careful not to fall off the edge. Now, if that doesn't work for you, what I would just recommend doing is place it to where you can see it and then just pick it up and just move up a tiny bit and then place it. Now, once that's done, we need to do up here, find the, um, this time the small version. And what you can do is you can sort of like tuck it in there but it still creates light. So take your time and just do it. Oh, you can see it a little bit. So just, I guess we'll just go on the outside, scrap it and jump back in. Find that light again. Do you want this one, the small one? Just tuck it in there. That didn't really work, it's not very bright, so do it again. There you go. That is really bright, actually. Just follow the same pattern on the other side, so to tuck it in like that. If, if it's not as bright as you would like, you might have to place another one, or if you're tight on resources, just move it until you get, until it's bright enough. This is definitely the hardest part of lighting the vault, these like side pieces. 
so. The more, the brighter it's going to be. this light and you can actually tuck it in there you can't see it from the inside but it also this is like the perfect place to put it you can it shows that you can still see it but when you place it I guess you can see it a little bit you'll just have to jump outside again and just move it Try it again. Usually a little bit of it showing is good because it doesn't actually show up in the... I don't know why it's taking so long for me to get it to work. What am I doing wrong? That's good enough. That's good. I guess it works best on an angle. So like that. that side so there you go follow the pattern I don't know why I can't get it to work on this side quick editors note: I spend a long time trying to position the lights I already showed you how to place them. Just do the same thing on each section. I'm just going to go ahead and edit out a huge chunk of the video. We finished it now. And that is how you light the top portion of the atrium. That's definitely the hardest part to light. And... How I have it without mods is the best you're gonna get it. Now, some parts are a little bit brighter than others. You just have to play around with it and make sure the lights are lined up perfectly, I guess, for lack of a better term. It's pretty good. Now what we're gonna do is light up the other parts. So again, find the long one without any hooks on the end. And just like the part of the roof part of the atrium, you can just place it inside so you can light up the car. We don't have one of the power conduits on the wall. And the reason it's working because those power pylons we put way up there are still delivering power all the way down here. In order to get power to every, I don't think or those pylons I know for a fact won't be able to power every part of the room so you will eventually have to use those power conduits you can do the same thing of course if this is not bright enough where the light isn't distributed evenly you can Play around with it, make sure it's take your time and line it up properly. For the sake of the video, I'm just gonna do it as follow. Alright, and then 
gonna be do the same thing under here. Down here we probably need one of these volt power conduits, so I would put it directly under the staircase and then in the middle here and in the middle here. Because in my testing last time it didn't work right under the stairs, so with the power conduit. thing as you can see the lights do not glitch through you cannot see them it's due to how thick the floor is and now the problem with doing that on the bridge is if you glitch it in there it just it just pops up on top like this because the bridge is not thick enough so the workaround is you gotta come back to this one this one, from for whatever reason, it does not. You can it lights up the bottom of the bridge, but you cannot see it up top. It gets stuck. I'll show you. It does not get stuck up top. And now, as you can see, there's like shadows under there. I mean, you could probably play around with the lights and get one of them stuck in the wall. But for my builds, like, well, that doesn't do anything. For my builds, personally, I actually like being able, I actually like having these lights. Like maybe one up there. Now it's, normally I would line it up. But... Like, I like having these lights, so I would do like one in there, maybe one there, one there, to light up that. Same thing on this side. Bam. And you can also use these lights. Put like one there, one there. Of course, I would line it up, but as you can see, like 99% of the wall is lit up now. Uh, the, some of the light is not distributed evenly because how I place them. If you do it all, like if you do the same pattern, make them symmetrical, it should work better. There's these four corners and under the stairs that have no light. As of right now, there is, I have not found, like see if you place the light, it sticks through on the other side. I have not f found like one of the lights that would stick under, but not show up on the other side. Like I guess you could do that. What is it doing? I'm just leaving it. I do not care. I guess you could put these ones under it. Oh, that one doesn't even light up. And the stair is gone. Oh yeah. 
there. Like, that doesn't look that bad, in all honesty. Have one of those under each of the staircases. Or two of them. Or just one, I guess. Yeah, there's, from my understanding, there's no way to get, no light is small enough to get stuck inside the staircase without having it pop up on the other side. And now these, there's these four corners. As of right now, there's, I don't know how to light these up. I guess you could just use... Like these, or something, I don't know. And I think, now if you remember from the last video, there was a comic book I made you get, or a magazine, sorry. And I think those lights look really nice under the bridge, just to have them hanging there. I'd recommend in the finished build doing that. But yeah, that's how I would light Volt 80. Of course, it'd look way better if you distribute the lights evenly. Um, uh, yeah, that's practically the end of the video. I'm sorry about these, like, little patches under the stairs. If I discover something, like, one part of me thought to just build, like, a concrete wall that had a bunch of lights on it, and then just power it into the ground. I'll show you. Oh, that's another wall. You want this one? As you can see, it, it can't really go any deeper. So that doesn't work. I mean, if you really wanted, you could probably... use these or th that's what you could do actually for I s another video I seen this was like years ago when the vault DLC first came out but what somebody did was they just had to use the um for most of the lighting they just had to use these um construction lights now here's an example of something that requires direct power That definitely works. I think that looks pretty nice. Or you could have like these. That gives you a lot of light. That looks pretty nice. Yeah, as of right now, I do not know how to light like these four individual corners, but compared to how other people light the vault, I say what I can do without mods is the best I've ever seen so far. If you discover something, uh, leave a comment. I will pin it and write it in the description, giving credit to you, of course. Um, I hope this helps some people. I know lighting the vault, especially the top part, is where a lot of people struggle. Um... As always, thank you for watching. Within the, like within a few days, I, sh I should have another video coming out showing you how to how I light the um, the entrance to Vault 88, as well as what to like destroy, how to clean it up and make it look professional. Um, if you like the video, please like, and if you want to see more follow-up videos, subscribe. Thank you.